Okay, now I guess we're, we're just about ready for the vote. Yes. Okay, so I like what Alan said that words of the year was based upon person of the year. So I think technically, if that were the case, Obamacare would be the clear winner because that was the news for the entire year. It has marked our president's whole second part of his term. It's going down as what he's being defined as. So in that respect, Obamacare does seem to be the clear winner. However, I do like the idea about because, because, because Obamacare. Just because, <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, because Obamacare can do that. <laughs> okay. And now we're ready for the most serious vote of all. So our counters will take extra special care, and I'll take extra special care with my arithmetic. And you Hashtag. Huh? Well, we have had sort of impressionistic arithmetic before. <laughs> but now, now it's going to be very exact. So all those who think because should be the word of the year, please raise your hand. Twenty-seven for the cause. All right. All those in favor, slash. Please raise your hand. Six. Twenty-one for slash. All who favor twerk. Okay, seven for twerk. And Obamacare. All those for Obamacare. Seven for twerk. Seventeen. And that's thirty-nine for Obamacare. And finally, selfie. All in favor of selfie? Wow. <laughs> Ten. Okay. Twenty for selfie. Well, let's see. I think we have a winner on the first round. There's two announcements. <laughs> okay. Listen, linguists. There are two announcements. One is that in about 20 minutes, in the room that's adjacent to this, we'll have an hour's worth of wine and cheese. And uh, you can, you're all invited to join us. Give, give them a few minutes to get set, set up there. And the other thing is, all right, because you chose because, I charge you now all to explain to journalists why because has suddenly become the word of the year for 2013. So think of, so in the meanwhile, Think of your friends, the American Dialect Society, who provides such cheer for uh, the entire group here. Think of what, keep your eyes and your ears open in the coming year to see what will be the word of 2014, when we will be, I believe, in San Francisco, not shaking the snow off our, our boots, and uh, we will then decide what that one is. That will be the 25th anniversary 
of the word of the year choice. So don't miss the 25th anniversary. Thank you for coming. Have a good country. Thank you.